What is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video. I hope everyone had a fantastic weekend and today we're going to be doing something I think is going to be quite fun to be honest with you as we're going to be doing a Russell Westbrook New York Knicks rebuild today. Now before we get into this video though, guys you could leave it a like and of course subscribe if you are new that'd be greatly appreciated. Thank you guys so much for that. It helps out and it makes a massive difference. But the reason why we're simply doing this today is because honestly when Russell Westbrook inevitably is not in the Lakers this offseason I can only see a couple teams that makes the most sense for Westbrook to go land at. And I think the Knicks, uh, you know, usually the Knicks are like the most obvious team you pick for every big name guy or whatever. But I'm being completely serious when I think the Knicks are the best possible destination for Russell Westbrook to land. And most of you guys seem to agree with me in the community tab. I really just wanted to see what most people thought about Russell Westbrook and what his playing days could come to or what they might look like towards the end of his career. And I feel like the Knicks could be the next best thing for him. The best, or he could be the main ball handler in New York. And I think that can make a lot of sense. So uh, let's go take a look at the trade that we kind of made. So basically, no first round picks involved. It's just something like this. It's uh, Russell Westbrook for Evan Fournier, Kim Walker, and Alec Burke. So something to just simply get the money kind of going. The Lakers get an option and Kimbo. I don't know. Kimbo maybe could be something over there. Evan Fournier, of course, could be a nice three-point shooter to put next to LeBron. And Alec Burke's also a nice uh, shooter as well and a bit good bench player if possible. So, yeah, that's kind of what I did. Uh, maybe there's more involved, whether you want to say the Lakers should be giving up more or the Knicks should be giving up more. I mean, I'm open to anything. I just thought this could be fun. So, uh, if we take a look, now that Russell Westbrook is here on the New York Knicks, he is now the point guard. Derrick Rose will probably be the sixth man. And then I did decide to keep Julius Randle. Uh, you know, last year, Joe Reynolds was shooting really nicely from three, 41%. This year, he's kind of go down, gone down a little bit. And then RJ Barrett. So, uh, you know, maybe we should probably put another ideal shooter in the three-point or in the in the starting lineup. I don't know why I said three-point. I was about to say three-point lineup. But uh, we also have the 11th pick in the draft, which is going to be nice for us. So that's going to be cool. Uh, whether we decide to trade that pick or, you know, draft whoever. Because we do have a, you know, kind of a young core here. So I do like the addition of Russ Westbrook, like I said, in New York. I think it's the... It's the place that makes the most sense for him. So today, we're just going to try to build a championship team and try to win a ring with Russell Westbrook as the point guard here. So uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm going to try to keep him as the starter throughout the video. And uh, I'm just going to hope it, it kind of works out. So uh, that's basically what we're going to be doing today. So um, I do need a center that can shoot, though, I think, just because uh, because the spacing is not the most ideal thing in the world already as it is. I mean, Julius Randle is, you know, good as he was last year. I don't want to rely on him to be uh, someone who's going to consistently shoot. Uh, from three, I mean, of course, you're going to respect it always, but you just need someone who's going to be able to consistently knock it down. RJ Barrett is getting there, is getting better at it, but um, I don't want to put a center in there that doesn't shoot a lot either because then the spacing would just be kind of not that great. So, uh, Neuron's Dwell is uh, this backup, which is fine for now, but I'm kind of more looking for a shooting center. Now, I don't know where we'll get that from, but it's something I'm going to try for sure. And then Russell Westbrook making a ton of money, but we can resign him for cheaper next year one thing we do have going for us is he is on a one-year deal so uh i mean it's really low risk high reward i guess because the knicks have a lot of salary anyway so you can just kind of use that salary like i said take a chance on russell westbrook kind of see how it goes so let's see what number 11 looks like for us as we have keegan murray on the board um benedict matherin dyson daniels kenny chandler and nikola jovich i think i'm gonna take benedict matherin here uh with this 11th pick and then we also have a second round pick which i'm gonna go ahead and take um, I mean, it really doesn't matter too much. I'm just going to probably, I don't want to draft another guard. I'm going to draft Christian Coloco here with just another center option because I don't know if Nero as well be the long-term backup center. So we'll sign both of them. Uh, both of them could maybe be rotational pieces immediately, potentially. We'll see. And Lucas Semanic. So uh, for free agency, as far as shooting big man, I don't think we'll really find that. They don't just grow on trees. So um, let's go see where that might come from. So uh, as far as you got, I guess got Chris Boucher, but I don't really see him as the ideal starting center. Uh, LaMarcus Aldridge, and then, yeah, <laughs> there's not a ton. So immediately comes to mind, of course, you could go for Miles Turner from Indiana if they were to, you know, if they were to move on from him. Uh, but other than that, there's really not much else. Mitchell Robinson is a free agent, so I think a sign and trade with him would make some sense. So honestly, I really am thinking about, I'm seriously considering Maybe, just maybe, we go ahead and do a sign and trade with Mitchell Robinson and try to get Miles Turner over here in New York just because I think he'd be one of the most ideal centers to put next to Russell Westbrook in this team. Of course, you could also shoot for the Stars and try to get Carly Towns from the Timberwolves, but don't think they'll do that. So I think uh, Miles Turner might be the next big thing 
And I think he'd be the one that makes a little bit more sense. And I think the Pacers could be interested in a 24-year-old Mitchell Robinson, potentially. So uh, a four-year deal, uh, maybe not as much money as Miles Turner, but just quite a bit. Or maybe even five if you want to do that, depending on how much the Pacers want Mitchell Robinson. So we'll go ahead and offer Mitchell Robinson that contract. And we'll send him over to Indiana and we'll try to build a trade that makes sense for both sides. Today's video is brought to you by Prize Picks. Prize Picks is a player props website that allows you to go over or unders on NBA players. That way you watch the game and have a lot of fun with it. So for example, this is what it would look like on desktop. Also kind of looks like this, obviously, on your phone, but you just simply pick two, three, four, five players, however many you want to choose. You just simply click over, over, under, under, whatever you want to do, and then you can either Three times your money, five times your money, even 10 times your money, as long as you get all four right. Even if you wanted to do power plays or flex plays, it really does not matter. Either way, it works out however you want it to. So if you guys want to join Prize Picks, the link's in the description. Use my promo code CRUSHABLES when you sign up. So Metro Robinson for Miles Turner is just quite not there enough. So uh, let's see what else we'd have to offer, offer in order to get them to accept this. So we have... Quinn Grimes, we have Miles McBride down here. So would Mitch Robinson, Miles McBride, and maybe a future protected first for Miles Turner to go through? They do not accept that. How about a second as well? And they agree. Okay, so nice. We got uh, Miles Turner to come and be our brand new center. Like I said, I think that makes more sense than having Mitch Robinson start in the rotation or then the uh, spacing just be absolutely terrible. Not that Miles Turner will be like anything crazy. He'll just be better than having a center who can't shoot at all is just not respectful from there at all so now you kind of have a team around russell westbrook that could shoot some threes a little bit which is nice and you can potentially throw emmanuel quickly in of the two if you wanted to or you can move him to the point guard where i don't know we'll see what we kind of want to do Derek grows russell westbrook quickly benedict and then uh Cameron rush rj barrett and then you got Joyce randall obi toppin and then neuron swell and miles turner so yeah this is kind of our brand new team going into this season so i don't think we're gonna do much else player progression is probably not gonna treat us very well uh, Russell Westbrook is going down uh, to a save eight overall. Uh, since he is going to be in New York, and I think he could improve. Wow, Josh Reynolds went down quite a bit as well. Uh, down to an 82 overall from where he was last year. But uh, since I think Russell Westbrook could improve, I might bump him right back to an 80, 81 overall. Just, or maybe I'll just let it flow. I don't know. We'll see. Because I do want him to be the starter. I don't want Ru our Derek Rose to start. So uh, we are trying to build around Russell Westbrook at the end of the day. Not really build around him, but just try to put a competent team around him, I guess. Uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Let's go take a look at the starting five, how 2K wants to run the rotation. I know how I want to run it personally, but we'll see what 2K thinks. So uh, they do still have Russell Westbrook in the starting five, which is cool. If we run a nine-man rotation, it's going to be Russell Westbrook, Emmanuel Quickly, RJ Barrett, Jewish Reynolds, Miles Turner, and then Derek Rose is the six man, known as well as a backup, Cameron Reddish as well, then Obi Toppin. So we're sitting quite a few guys out of the rotation, which isn't the most ideal thing in the world. But this team is deep, so that honestly might give us the option later on to potentially make some kind of trade, which would kind of be cool. We'll, we'll see how that goes. But um, like I said, I might just bump Russell Westbrook back to an 80 overall, or I just might let it go. I don't care. But uh, I, I'm not sure how 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 we'll do it yet. But let's just go ahead and celebrate this season. I probably just won't. I probably won't mess with it. We'll, we'll just see how it goes. So uh, Russell Westbrook on the New York Knicks here in Madison Square Garden. I mean, I'm sure it brings some excitement. Maybe not as much excitement after seeing what has happened in LA, but I think Russell Westbrook can still be a good player if he's just in a better situation and not getting all the blame in the world. I will not lie to you. The first season did not go as planned whatsoever. I mean, if you trade for Russell Westbrook and then you went 14th, I don't even know what New York would do, man. 14th is in the East for us. MVP goes to Giannis. Chet Holmgren's rookie of the year on the Portland Trailblazers. Jeremy Grant's your sixth man on the Pistons. Giannis defense player. Then RJ wins most improved, which is cool, but it didn't lead to anything as we're literally, like I said, the 14th seed in the East. I mean, maybe this is a blessing in disguise, like getting a high draft pick could be cool. Like I said, I am determined throughout the video to try to build around Russell or just keep Russell Westbrook. I keep trying to say build around Russell Westbrook, but try to keep him as a starting point guard. Uh, 16 points in Madison Square Garden here in New York. 16 points per game. 30% uh, from Russell Westbrook, which is actually not too bad. Uh, for him and 38 percent from rj barrett which is solid derrick rose 40 man quickly 39 cam rush 33 and then miles turn 34 so this you know percentages weren't the greatest in the world but it could be worse quickly at 39 percent and then obi top and even 30 uh 37 percent so um let's go ahead and simulate the playoffs though and uh let's go ahead and see who wins the championship real quick i'm gonna assume boston because uh this foul boston nah, never mind grizzlies going to win it but this foul boston's pretty overpowered but the grizzlies 
beat the Chicago Bulls in five, which is good for Memphis. But uh, draft lottery time, I think we have two draft picks. Um, so we have our own. Wait, okay, let's see. Where's our draft pick? Because it was 14th. Do we not have our Oh, Hawks via New York. Oh, there it is. Okay. I wonder if that pick's protected at all. Wait, isn't that from the Cam Reddish trade? Then via Dallas and then via Charlotte. Okay, this actually could be a nice offseason for us. And we are projected uh, pick number three. Okay, so we get pick number three. And then we also get pick number 12. And then I don't think we got uh, the other pick that I was supposed to get, which is unfortunate. So uh, the Mavericks, I guess, was lottery protected or something. And then is the Knicks pick not protected at all in that Cameron Reddish trade? That actually confuses me. I feel like the Knicks had protections on that. I'm gonna double check. I could be wrong, but I just wanna do it for my own research just to be safe. So I was right. After further research, as long as I'm not an idiot and I didn't read it wrong, I believe the Knicks pick is actually top 16 protected in 2023 and uh, top 18 protected in 2022. So uh, obviously the pick kind of convey or didn't convey last year, right? No, it went to the hot. I don't know. I, regardless, I believe the Knicks have their pick if it's in the top 16. Could totally be wrong about that. If I am, I apologize. I wish 2K could do the protections for me that way. Uh, I'm not. It, protections are confusing sometimes. But regardless, I guess we have the third pick. Let's go to draft night now. And then Tom Thibodeau is still the head coach. Do we want to just fire him after, you know, this year's performance? I mean, he would be on the hot seat, especially after something like that. So maybe it's something we should consider. Maybe we should just go ahead and fire the man. Or should we? Like, I mean, his. I don't think I will, though, because of his. Uh, I mean, like, what are the options? Because... We do fire Tom Thibodeau, and like I said, he would probably be on the hot seat, but for me, I, mean, I guess we're going to go hire Ronald McGee, just hope things are better with him. So you know what? We'll do it. We'll go ahead and come out here, and instead of Tom Thibodeau, we'll go ahead and hire McGee wherever he was. Where's my man? There he is. Seven second system. I'll sign him over here. Welcome to New York, my friend. And then on draft night, third overall picked, which is kind of cool. Uh, so we could get Shannon Sharp. I don't think Victor would fall at number three. That would be cool if he did, but it probably won't happen. Uh, or we could trade this big technically, which I am kind of like maybe leaning towards just because it would be kind of cool. We do have Julius Randle still, you know, his big contract. So that's something we still consider could trading away. Randle has been in some trade rumors. So kind of want to attach him and number three together and maybe see what I can get out of it. I mean, yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to actually try that. We're going to see what we can get for Julius Randle at number three and see if we can get something really good for it. I'm going for the home run hitter here, man. Uh, Bradley Beal and Russell Westbrook put together in Washington. Why not bring Bradley Beal to New York? It'd be number three and Jewish Reynolds over for Bradley Beal. Don't know if this will go through. It's just average 29 points per game in Washington. So it uh, could just be something we bring to New York. And uh, obviously Beal and Russ would have RJ Barrett and Miles Turner alongside them instead of what they had in Washington. I mean, I don't think I can make it. Whoa, I guess I could get this trade without trading Jewish Reynolds, which is kind of insane to me. And if that's the case, I might try to do that instead. We could keep Jewish Reynolds for crying out loud. Uh, so let's try this. 2023 and then Benedict Matherin for Bradley Beal. Or the third pick, I guess I should have said. And Benedict. That was almost too easy. Welcome to Wash or welcome to New York, my friend. So somehow I traded for Bradley Beal and I managed to keep the 12th pick in the draft as well. And weirdly enough, Amani Bates is... All right, you know what? This draft, this... Uh this is almost going too well for us, but I mean, I'm not complaining. So uh, why? Yeah, I'm not going to complain about this going crazy well for us right now. But uh, we're going to take Chris Livingston in the second round, and I'm going to call it good after that. So we can walk away with the Monty Bates, who is 76 overall, number 12. And then we get Livingston and Miles as well. Player options wise, we got Derek Rose. I'm actually going to accept it. I'm accept, I'm accept all these guys, actually. Why not? And the qualifying offers, Lucas Manic, RJ Barrett. We do need to bring back a couple of guys. So we're going to be in luxury tax hell, I believe. Uh, so that'll be a problem. And then Russell Westbrook is out here, I think. Wait, did he retire? Hopefully he didn't retire on us because uh, that would just be kind of a fail if he did. He must be out here. I just don't have his bird rights, I guess. Or at least it doesn't show me I have them. So uh, let's go see what he potentially wants. He is still out here. He wants $17 million, which, you know, give or take, could be what he could potentially get. So I'll give him a two-year deal. I do want to keep him in New York. And then uh, we want Miles Turner back. As, never mind. Why does every center just get pissed off at me when I use the Knicks? I don't get it, but whatever. Uh, so uh, Russell Westbrook, I do want to bring back Miles Turner, though. But I'm not going to be able to, am I? That's so, that's so annoying. I mean, I traded for the man. The Lakers are trying to steal RJ Barrett. I'm not going to let that happen. 
Yo, Miles, what what's the problem, man? What happened? I don't I don't get what happened, man. I don't know why you're so pissed. Just let it go. And then Reddish, I do want back as well. So uh I'm not gonna get Miles Turner back, am I? Uh I wanna bring him back. He has no oh, he's 15 offers now. Why the hell can't I get you back, dude? Uh, well, unideally for us, uh, obviously we weren't able to get Miles Turner back whatsoever. So now we have uh, no center essentially to uh, space the floor. But you know what? I guess it's okay. We have Bradley Beal now, which is good. But uh, losing Miles Turner is definitely a huge blow. I would just go get him back, but I mean at the same time, I just he just didn't care to resign with us. I don't know what I did to him, but. He just hates us, I guess. And there's nothing you can really do about that. So let's just go to next season. And I guess Nerlens Noel will be the starter. Thankfully, 2K doesn't care about spacing. It's just a matter of, you know, it's the principle. I would have loved to have had Miles Turner back. But Russell Westbrook, Bradley Beal, RJ Barrett, Julius Randle still. And then Nerlens Noel, Mano Quickly, Cameron Reddish, Derek Rose, Obi Toppin, and Quentin Grimes uh, sitting on the rotation. But, dude, we are still deep. So efficiency-wise, actually four stars. So... I mean, we could still choose to trade Jewish Randall in this video if we wanted to. We could s potentially flip him at the trade deadline for a car in the towns or something like that, but I probably won't do that. I'm, I'm just going to hope and pray the simulation ends up going better for us since we did bring Bradley Beal to New York. So we re reunited Bradley Beal and then uh, you know, Russell Westbrook. But of course, this time I feel like there's a little bit of a better team around them. Would have been so awesome if we could have kept Miles Turner, but unfortunately for us, we just weren't able to. So. Uh, we'll just see how things go. Hopefully, we are able to still be good. Well, we weren't good last year. So, let's go make the postseason for crying out loud. We got Beal. Go do something. You know, I didn't title this video the Russell Westbrook Rebuild Challenge. But I definitely feel like I should because we're the 15th seed in the freaking Eastern Conference. I mean, I didn't expect it to be this hard to make the playoffs with Russell Westbrook as a starter. Like, I don't get it. And for crying out loud, Nikola Jokic is the MVP on the Detroit Pistons. Victor wins rookie of the year in the Thunder. Levert's your sixth man. Yas is a defensive player. And then Trey Mann's your most approved. And Chauncey Phillips, your coach here in Portland. So, cool. That's awesome. Uh, but again, we still are horrible. I mean, even after getting Bradley Beal, it made no difference. So, this time, instead of being just maybe even a little bit better after adding Bradley Beal, they're like, nah, you just tear it. You're even worse. You went 50, 32 and 50, and you're the worst team in the league. Even after adding Bradley Beal, it doesn't matter what you do. You still suck. As long as Russell Westbrook is the starter, you're not going anywhere. Basically is what 2K is telling me, I think. I guarantee you, if I took Russell Westbrook out of the rotation next year, I would make the playoffs, I feel like. I don't know, man. I just feel like 2K is giving me that vibe. But fortunately for us, uh, yeah, 21 from Bradley Beal, 19 from RJ, 16 from Randall, and 15 from Russell Westbrook. So, I mean, I thought this team could at least get to the play-in tournament at the very, the very least, right? Jamal Murray, Michael Porter, and then, like I said, freaking Jokic is in Detroit with Cade Cunningham, which I guess is cool and all, but it just kind of... Uh, would be that would be crazy if that actually happened imagine Nikola Jokic is like ah you know what I feel like I like what Detroit's building let me go win a championship in the Motor City and I'm gonna leave Denver and I'm just gonna go to Detroit Portland almost got to the finals as well would have been awesome but we have the I mean thankfully we made this 2024 pick lottery protected because uh yeah where where's our pick our you're telling me I don't have the number one pick. Like, okay, it's going to the Pacers. Like, oh yeah, because I trade. It's live protected though. Uh, so even though we were the 15th seed, we still okay. Uh, okay, we still don't have. We were st seventh pick. All right, interesting. Well, I guess I have one more off season to try to make this team better. And uh, again, I am keeping Ru as long as he didn't retire, which I hope he didn't. I don't think he. Yeah, he didn't. Okay. As long as uh, Russell Westbrook is the starter, which he's going to continue to be the starter, I am going to just try to make something else happen, I guess. I don't really know what else we can do, but I got to give something a shot. So, Randall, I think it is time. I mean, I didn't do it last year, but I think this year I'm going to have to do it. Not that it's all your fault, but I'm just going to try to make something different. Probably going to try to trade for a center and then maybe just start Obi Toppin, I guess, or maybe we start Reddish and Barrett and Power Force, Small Force. I don't know. I'm going to try to trade Randall for a legitimate center. Maybe that is Carly Towns. I've kind of hinted at it a couple times. We'll, we'll see what I can make happen, I guess. So I actually had to skip past the draft because I was going to get anywhere with the guys I wanted. Anthony Davis uh, was somebody I was kind of looking at. And then Carly Towns, uh, they're both in free agency, I believe. So let's just go to free agency. And we're going to have to make our trade 
after free agency. So the two guys we drafted really don't matter because I'm probably gonna trade them anyway. So Cameron Reddish, no as well. I'm gonna, yeah. I, why does every center just hate, just doesn't care about me? They just like, no, dude, like go kick rocks. I don't get what I do to them, but for some reason it just doesn't, they just don't like what I bring, I guess. I don't, I don't get it, but it, I don't think, yeah, I'm gonna have to wait till Towns and Davis sign their contracts because those are the two guys I'm kind of looking at. Uh, and it's going to be kind of weird to get one of them, but I'm going to try. So I'm going to get it quickly. And then uh, wherever those two signed, let's see, where where did uh, those two guys go? So we got Andy Davis going to the Lakers and a sign and trade over to us, of course. So that's something we'll be going to do. And Carly Towns went to the Toronto Raptors. So I guess I'm going to try for Anthony Davis first because I don't get him all that often. So let's see if the Lakers would be willing to send me over Anthony Davis, which this is kind of funny because obviously Russell Westbrook Anthony Davis is currently playing together right now, but uh, I'm going to try to do this anyway. So obviously it'd be Julius Randle, and then I'd have to throw in uh, probably quite a, I mean, we got quite a bit of assets. So I mean, I'm sure we can get this to grow through. Wow, we have a couple of studs, I guess, with crazy trade value. Livingston, they don't accept it yet. I'll throw, throw you a unprotected 2026. They don't accept it yet. Unprotected 2028. They still don't. Okay, I, I imagine I've thrown one of these got young guys in here. They'll probably accept it. They don't agree. And then do I throw Quentin Grimes in there, I guess? Oh, they can't accept it after. All right. I'm assuming if I throw Dillingham in there, they're going to accept this in a second. They still don't agree. Throw that 2028 pick and our 2026. So it'll be kind of an interesting team we'll have over here in a second. And yeah, we got Anthony Davis in New York. So it's Anthony Davis and Bradley Bill compared to are paired together now with RJ Barrett, Manuel Quickly, Reddish, Russell Westbrook. So very interesting team, but this is kind of the team we've uh, established, so it's it's cool. Let's take a look. So we got Russell Westbrook and Mike Miles. You got Bradley Beal, Emmanuel Quickly, which I think we can go ahead and move quickly to the backup point guard, to be honest with you. So, Or even the starting point. Or that's Quentin Grimes. My apologies. Uh, quickly, where are you at? We're going to move him to point guard. He'll probably actually start over Russell Westbrook, which actually might be something we should have done a long time ago, to be honest with you. Uh, but Russell Westbrook quickly... R Bradley Beal, Quentin Grimes, and then R.J. Barrett, Reddish, Imani Bates, then Obi Toppin. And, and to be honest with you, I think I'm going to be weird. I'm going to move R.J. Uh, maybe I'll move Reddish. To, uh, I'll move. Should I play R? I don't care. We're just going to play small ball lineup, I guess. I'm not going to go for anybody else. So, Anthony Davis is my big acquisition. I understand R.J. Barrett at Power Forward is really weird. But at this point, I just want to make the damn playoffs because we have not done that in this video once. So, if we could just make the playoffs in this last season, I'd be happy. You know what? I usually get pissed when we get eliminated by an eighth seed, but I'm going to be honest with you. I don't even care if we lose to an eighth seed. I just want to make the damn playoffs. So, Russell Westbrook, I said I was going to start you throughout the video, but it just hasn't worked out at this point. So, I'm going to go against my own rules, and yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and simulate now. This has turned into such an unrealistic rebuild. It's not even funny, but I, I had to do something to try to make this video somewhat valuable because I don't want to just simulate and not make the playoffs all three seasons. So... Let's see if 2K can give me the benefit of being in the postseason finally. To be honest with you, I literally can't even make this up. I know you guys can't see it because my damn webcam's in the way, but we are literally the 15th seed in the Eastern Conference. Like, what more do you want me to do? I mean, this we're a four and a half proficiency system. This is our starting five, and I can make the... You're telling me this team can't be in the damn play-in tournament. It is the worst team in the East. That's what this game is telling me. This, I mean, I get I'm having our... How is this team literally, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Uh, I, I just, what is our record right now? I just, I'm just curious. I, I mean, am I just 20, 20 and 46? We are just not good enough in this video. You know what? Today is just not my day. Why did I decide to play 2K today? I don't know. I thought maybe we could sneak into the playing tournament at the very end and no, you know what guys? I, I'm, it's not my day. It's clearly not my day. Russell Westbrook to the Knicks makes no sense, apparently. Don't do it, New York. I thought it could be cool, but please don't do it. Just don't even try it. It's not going to work. You won't make the playoffs once. It doesn't matter what you do. I, 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 I'm completely flabbergasted by this game today, and I just... 2K? I just can't do it with 2K lately. It's just been weird. Weird after weird after weird. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you. This crushables i'm saying peace thank you guys so much for watching make sure you click here to watch another video that i know you'll love